Thank you, Anne. Well, in a weather alert now, an Air Force pilot in Southern California sharing a high altitude view of the state's super bloom. Check this out. This is video shot from the cockpit. So you're looking at the area near Edwards Air Base. That's about 90 minutes north of L.A. California's wet winter is paying off with a gorgeous spring flower bloom. Yes, what a shot. Mm -hmm. For a while there, our flowers in our garden at least were coming up, and then it would snow on top of them, and they would get smashed down, and they're trying to come up yeah, again. Trying, so. to, trying to bloom again, but yes. that kind of view right there just has me excited for the wildflower season oh, coming up this summer in Utah. Yes. Stunning, stunning yeah. sights. It's going to be good, but we're still going on that mm -hmm. roller coaster. Nice and warm out there now, all for the temperatures to come back down as we go into our Tuesday. But those temperatures across the region, generally in the 60s and 70s. But for those of you in St. George, you're sitting at 81 degrees. So it feels all a bit of spring out there right now. But of course, when we have these warm temperatures and the deep snowpack that we have, we continue to keep a close eye on the enhanced runoff. So even when flooding is not a threat, just keep in mind water will continue to run fast and it will be very cold. Hypothermia and drowning are possible even in brief periods of times in the water. So kind of best to stay away from those fast moving waters, especially for your kids and for your pets. Slot Canyon still could become inundated with runoff, so avoid those backcountry hazards. And as for what you can do, if you still have a lot of snow near where you are, make sure that you're clearing the snow from your foundations, clear those drainage paths, and make sure that you continue to stay up to date. We have a full list of information on our website on abc4.com. It's a really good resource when we're talking about our spring runoff. But if you're not concerned about the runoff, I mean, it's just a beautiful day down in Moab in southeastern Utah. But clouds are beginning to increase mainly in the western portion of the state. Here's the current view outside at Utah Lake. You got mostly cloudy skies above. Still got some sunshine trying to peak below, but we're seeing a little bit more in the way of those mid-level and high-level clouds. And now we also have a few cumulus clouds as well. And that's because we're seeing that moisture increasing across the state. All of that being brought in by a southwesterly flow. A weak front is currently working its way way through and that will continue to be the case as we go from today into tonight. But you can see this trough coming in from the Pacific Northwest. Eventually, that's going to work its way into our neighborhood, and that's what's really going to bring the cooler temperatures, and that's also what's going to be bringing us a decent chance for wet weather. Mainly going to be talking about valley rain and mountain snow. However, when we talk about snow, the Wasatch Mountains are now included within a winter weather advisory. This is going to begin at 4 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday, and will continue through 7 o'clock in the evening. And it's not a guarantee, but 6 to 12 inches are within the realm of possibility when it comes to accumulations, especially places like the upper cottonwoods. So we could be adding more snow to the equation and ahead of this system, we're going to be seeing some pretty strong winds. So in the eastern portion of the state, we have a multitude of wind advisories stretching from the Uinta Basin all the way down to the Glen Canyon and Lake Powell area. These will start tomorrow morning. We'll continue through tomorrow evening. Could see some wind gusts out of the southwest as high as 55 miles per hour, so we could see times of blowing dust. Now let's go ahead and begin the future cast. 5 o'clock this evening, and I think the future cast is overdoing it just a little bit as we're beginning things this evening. But as we go into tonight, as that system starts to approach, we're going to have a pretty decent chance of seeing that valley rain and mountain snow in the northern half of the state. That chance will continue through the middle portions of tomorrow. And by tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a few showers stretching as far down as the I-70 corridor. But the bulk of what we're going to see will be in the northern portion of the state. High pressure will try to briefly build in for our Wednesday, so the chance for wet weather will be a little bit lower on our Wednesday, and that chance could ramp up a little bit more going from our Wednesday night into our Thursday with another piece of energy that's going to be working its way in. And with those winds out of the northwest, we could be talking about a pretty decent chance for wet weather in northern Utah. But for tomorrow, as that system works its way in, there's also going to be the chance for a few thunderstorms in the northern half of Utah. So don't be surprised if you hear a few rumbles of thunder. And here's a look at that chance of precipitation along the Wasatch Front and in northern Utah, where it's expected for tomorrow. That chance goes down on our Wednesday up slightly on Thursday. Then it looks like we'll kind of dry things out as we make our way into this upcoming weekend with high pressure building in. But as we go into tonight, not going to be quite too chilly, but those daytime highs tomorrow will be significantly cooler compared to what we saw for today. In St. George, we get mid middle 70s tomorrow, looking at mainly windy conditions, breezy conditions for our Wednesday. The daytime high in St. George even dropping into the upper 60s, but looks to stay mostly dry. Then as high pressure builds in for this upcoming weekend, we'll see those daytime highs back in the low 80s by Sunday into Monday. Then along the Wasatch front, a decent chance for our showers Tuesday. Not going to be nonstop wet weather, but that chance will keep with us throughout the entirety of the day. A slight chance on Wednesday, chance for showers on Thursday, then looking mostly dry Friday, Saturday into Sunday, and those temperatures will start to rebound. Could be near 70 degrees by next Monday. If you want to take your weather with you on the go, just make sure you download the Pinpoint Weather app. Go to the Apple App Store or Google Play. All you have to do is scan the QR code right there on your screen. It'll take you to your phone's app store. Great thing to have, especially with wet weather coming in. Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break.